Hi, and welcome to this Hasselblad X2D Spotlight. I'm Mark Whitney, Hasselblad's Photographer and Relations Manager, and I'm here today with Chris Clues, Hasselblad's Global Technical Communications Manager. So today's spotlight is going to be on the image stabilization for the X2D. So something we refer to as IBIS or in-body image stabilization. Um, yes, yeah, so tell us a little bit more how it works. Okay, so Hasselblad has never had uh, image stabilization in one of its cameras before. Okay. Uh, so it was a first for us. Uh, so initially they looked to see if they could buy an off the shelf solution to fit into the uh, X system camera body. But obviously we know the body is very small uh, and there was nothing available that would actually fit the quality level we wanted and the size point to fit within the camera. Okay. The in-house team then came up with a unique solution uh, which will deliver a five axis, seven stop correction. Uh, and in fact, it, using hall sensors, it's so sensitive it can pick up 0.1 pixel movements. Okay, and it's, it's so small, that it's, is it the world's smallest at the, at the moment? It is, it's currently the world's smallest medium format camera in body stabilization system. Okay, and then you, you, mem you mentioned the, the five axis, so what does that mean? So the system itself can correct for uh, obviously vertical and horizontal shifts. Okay. Uh, we can correct for yaw and pitch and roll. Right. Uh, the only axis, if you like, that's not corrected for is the general forward and back movement, but that's generally taken care of, obviously, by the autofocus system as you're on yes. the subject. Okay, and the seven stops, what does that sort of relate to in the real world? So, effectively, if you were happy hand-holding at, say, one two-fiftieth of a second, uh, with this system, you could hand-hold seven shutter speeds slower. Uh, so okay. you're getting towards a tenth of a second or so, uh, with a uh, sort of a 55 mil lens and you would still get acceptable sharp results. Okay, and how important is the image, stabilis image stabilization to this type of camera? Uh, with the 100 megapixel sensor and the smaller pixel sites, obviously the co uh, collection of fine, fine detail uh, in an image is easily lost with camera shake, handshake, even though the smallest amount you might not even realize is happening but you can remove that finest level of detail. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously you could put it on a tripod, but the whole point of the IBIS system is it means that you can carry on uh, shooting handheld in low light conditions, in not so great conditions, and still get a fantastically sharp result. Yeah, so not, much, not as much requirement for tripods, I Correct. guess. And the image stabilization being in camera, it doesn't, it's not dependent on the lens, so you can use not just our lenses, but third party as well. Yeah. So the whole point is we wanted to make the system as flexible as possible. So you can use all of the Hasselblad lenses through the normal series of adapters. So your X-Pan lenses, V-System lenses, and obviously H-System lenses. Yep. They can be attached to the camera and basically they will have corrections available. But third party lenses through third party adapters can be mounted onto the camera. And as long as you tell the camera what focal length you're using, it will apply a correction. Okay, that's, that's amazing. Um, okay, so we've got some sample images here just to help demonstrate the, the benefits. So these images were taken by Hans Strand, a landscape photographer, uh, using the X2D. And these were from a, um, a helicopter, I believe. Correct. So obviously, from a vibration point of view, probably a worst case scenario. Yeah. Uh, it's a low frequency vibration. Obviously, the photographer and the camera were probably vibrating. So the system then kicks in to remove that low level vibration, which means the finest detail is still captured, even though you're, the whole thing that you're sitting in is probably vibrating. Well, so thanks, Chris. That's a great overview of the image stabilization in the new Hasselblad X2D camera. If you'd like to find out more on the Hasselblad products, you can obviously go to the Hasselblad website at hasselblad.com. You can subscribe to our newsletter for regular updates, and you can also follow us on our social channels. So thanks very much for joining us today, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.